I'm not equipped to be pa I'm a parent either. I'm, I got a kid. And uh, well, let me show you what my kid gave me for good luck for the show before I left the apartment. This was huge. I know it was like it's his favorite toy right now. He gave me his favorite dinosaur. Isn't that cute? Yeah, he's 15. But <laughs> no, he's 11. And uh, you know, at this age, it's like it's all about the kid all the time, 24/7. You know, and sometimes you resent it because you want to do stuff for yourself. You know what I'm saying, dude? Like this past weekend, he had a baseball tournament. My wife's like, "You go, father-son bonding weekend." And I did it. Three days with him. And at the end of the weekend, it hit me. Uh, I don't really care for the kid. Because <laughs> it's all about the kid. You don't have any time to yourself. Like Saturday night. Saturday night. It's my night, too. I want to go to a club. And he starts complaining. Daddy, the lady on the pole scares me. <laughs> this Jack Daniels is burning my throat. <laughs> you call that weed. I don't need to take that shit. It's the most important thing you can do as have a kid and no one checks with you from the government to see if you're qualified. I'm an idiot and they let me have a kid. The first indication you don't know what you're doing as a parent. My son was like uh, 10 months old and he had his first night terror. He's holding on to his crib for dear life. Three o'clock in the morning, bawling his eyes out. And me, Joe Brainiac, all I could think to do was try to reason with him. What? What is it, Alex? What's wrong? Oh, tell Daddy. Oh, what is it? Oh, like he's going to snap out of it and go, you want to know what's wrong, Paul? <laughs> Come over here. I was nice and warm in the womb. You yanked me out of there. You snipped off my penis. You wrapped me in a plastic bag. I shit myself eight times a day. You hung this mobile above my head. You think it's cute? It is freaking the shit out of me right now. When I'm hungry, I can't even go to the fridge and get a pudding pop. What the fuck do you think is wrong with me? Oh, and one other thing, you got me in sitting, in sitting in Santa's lap. Do you want me talking to strangers or don't you? <laughs> so now he's at that age, I gotta have the talk with him. You know the talk? The don't tweet pictures of your junk to women. <laughs> Lonnie talked about this. Only men do this. This is such a male DNA thing. Only men, with, men are animals. Women are too sophisticated. Think about this. Think about, this is the most sophisticated, important invention since the car. And only men, only men would think to take this. <laughs> Good for us, guys. Good for us. Good for us. Good for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, ladies, can we get perspective on this for just a second? Now, I understand on some level you're not supposed to do that in polite circles. But is it the worst thing in the world to get a two-by-two -two grainy picture of a penis on a phone? I mean, you've all seen a penis. I know you have. <laughs> We've done things to a penis. A penis has done things to you. Are you completely overwhelmed when you get a two-by-two two grainy picture of a penis? Are you like, oh my God, what is this? I don't know, what do I, oh! Like, whoa, I don't want, oh, I want. <laughs> Look, if I sent you a picture of my penis right now, you know what it would look like? It would look like a little baby bald eagle asleep in a nest. You'd want to pet it, you'd want to feed it, and then release it into the wild. Meanwhile, if you sent me a picture of your vagina, you know what I would do? I would fuck my phone. I would... 